all one. Everything we consume, whether it's food or soap or clothes or a radio, everything has a human labor component. And was that labor, was that human person who produced it, were they respected or were they exploited? Mint is obviously our most famous scent. It's Dr. Bronner's favorite soap. It's our original soap. And we want to produce our soaps in a way that every farmer and every worker involved is respected and being paid a fair price so that they can support their families and send their kids to school. I love it. When I go to Mantha, I live with him. I feel very good. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. It's not cold from the mint. From the age of the mint, we have a little bit of a mint. There wouldn't be a Dr. Bronner Soap Company today if it wasn't for our peppermint soap. And there wouldn't be peppermint soap if it wasn't for our partners in India making the organic peppermint oil that goes into it. About 15 years ago, when we decided that we wanted to know where our ingredients come from to go direct for mint, India was the natural option for us. It's been a major producer of mint for a long time. When I smell the peppermint soap, it brings me back to my childhood, going to visit my grandfather, who always seemed to have the smell of peppermint radiating from his pores. He started making peppermint soap in small batches at home. I think he really wanted to make something that would be more than a soap, but also a sensory experience. Mint's a very evocative scent for me personally. It just reminds me of my granddad and his life. Mint has always been our best seller. It's really what people identify with when they think of Dr. Bronner's. We sell a bottle of peppermint soap every 10 seconds. It accounts for one eighth of all natural soap sold in America. No amount of that hippie Dr. Bronner soap can wash off. My grandfather put his philosophy on the bottle of soap. And what this generation is doing is taking that message off the bottle and applying it wherever we can. We're in Bareilly in Uttar Pradesh, northern India. Dr. Bronner's has been sourcing mint oils in this area since 2003. Over the years that we've worked here, we realized that one of the key challenges that farmers are facing is the deterioration in the quality of their soil. हमने हमने जो टेस्ट कराया उसमें हमने देखा है कि ऑर्गेनिक मैटर बहुत बिलो लो स्तर से भी नीचे जा चुका है जमीन का The result of industrial agriculture has been a global catastrophe of our agricultural landscape. The natural ecosystems are just destroyed. Carbon is oxidized up into the air. So it's a massive contributor of greenhouse gas, both in the effect of how it's ripping fertility out of our soils, but also the chemicals themselves have massive energy footprints. कि वैज्ञानिक कारण भी हैं कि हमारी जे अगर हम केमिकली यूज करेंगे तो एक दिन ऐसा होगा कि उस खेत से जिस जो हमारी फील्ड है उससे कुछ पैदा होना ही बंद हो जाएगा। So regenerative organic agriculture is about reversing all that disaster, and it's a strategy that mimics nature, farming in nature's image. And when you look at a natural ecosystem, there's no external chemical inputs, no synthetic fertilizers, no pesticides. It's a totally self-regenerating system. The key practices that farmers are using to regenerate the soil and bring back the carbon that has been lost to the atmosphere are simple. It's the production and application of compost. It's the use of mulches. That's crop residues that are just left on the fields. It's the shift to conservation tillage practices. They do not go as deep and are not as destructive. It's the use of cover crops, so soil does not go uncovered in between crops. And it's rotational crops that bring back nitrogen to the soil. And when we have the food we have prepared, when we have the food we have prepared, then we have two benefits, one is the benefit of the disease, that we have to pay less money in the food, and we have to pay less money. Soil is a living ecosystem. It's incredibly complex. And healthy crops and healthy food and amazing mineral oil is a byproduct of really healthy living soil. Depleted, mismanaged soil is like uh, a clear cut forest. And when you properly manage soils, you bring that soil back to life, it's like reforestation. The importance of sourcing mint in an organic and regenerative fashion is that it supports such a huge land base and a huge number of farmers. So, we came here four people, now we have 1500 people who are growing up about this. We don't really differentiate so much between regenerative, organic and fair trade. To us, it's all one. 
What we're looking for in a fair trade partner is a similar set of ideals. We're looking for trust and integrity. The way we approach money is as energy to create a better world. And we want to make sure our local partners have that same philosophy. And Nihal and the team he has, they're just the ideal partner for us. They're excited by Regenerative Organic, excited like we are to be a steward of the land and just figuring out what are the best practices and techniques. What's different under fair trade is the individual farmer will receive a 10% organic premium over that market rate and another 10% which then goes into a community fund and that money can then be spent on various things, whether it's health, whether it's clean water. Those things are decided on by the committee here. Our Fair Trade Committee is the best thing for society. We work with them. We take our own thoughts and prioritize them. And the committee takes action. Our villages and villages, the fair trade की तरफ से जो पंप वगैरह लगाए गए हैं उससे हम लोगों के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा फायदा है हम बीमार नहीं होते हैं हमें साफ शुद्ध पानी मिलता है मेरी सबसे पसंदीदा चीज़ पवित्र मेंथा के लिए ये है कि एक तो ये जो सामाजिक स्तर को बढ़ाने के लिए जो कार्य करते हैं पवित्र मेंथा पुरुष किसानों के साथ साथ महिला किसानों को भी सपोर्ट करता है Fair trade for us provides an opportunity for our customers to use their dollars to make real differences in communities around the world. Dr. Bruno's team ne mujhko pura support kiya iske liye. Mere liye garv ki baat ye hai ki main us company ke saath mein kaam kar raha hu jo hai environment, community aur in sab ke development ke liye. Main chahta hu ki jo mere pita ji ne zameen mujhe di hai main use bahut achhi tareeke se apne bachcho ko peedi dar peedi jo hame mili hai hum kisi dusre ko se behtar bana ke de sake. All of our ingredients have a story as far as where in the world they're coming from. And it's really important to us to make sure that our raw materials, we know who's producing them. We're in a fair, long-term relationship with them. The way they're being grown is regenerative and respects the soil, rewards farmers, makes sure that everyone's winning. That's our commitment. We all live and we all need to do it together. It's the only one that is the organic and regenerative agriculture. We have the solution. Like we, we can stop being part of the problem, being part of the solution.